A flood of donations leads to a puppy's first step. Up until now, just watching Roscoe walk has been painful. But as News 13's John Lee explains, the precocious pet has made some big strides. He's so happy, it's, it's heartwarming. Before you can run, you must first learn to walk. At four months old, Roscoe is finally taking baby steps. Roscoe, there he is. Hi. Hello there. Hi. Yeah, it's good to see you too. Seven days since he last saw Dr. David Crouch. You doing okay? How could the precocious pit bull ever repay him? Thank you. Well, let's take a look at you. This patient's progress is measured in taps. To Roscoe's foster mom, Laurel York, it's the sound of a speedy recovery. Yes, he's a little tap dancer now. <laughs> he likes to talk a lot. The puppy had a rare deformity of his wrist joints and was crippled. Roscoe adapted by essentially learning how to crawl using the top of those wrists. And he was left with little flippers and you know, trying to walk on the tops of his wrists and created bloody sores on the top of each wrist. Asheville Humane Society collected more than $3,000 for reconstructive surgery. A little bit of irritation with his incision back here is uh, healed great. So now just doing some flexibility exercises. Since surgery, it's been a delicate balancing act. The first couple of days, he was really wobbly on uh, his stilts, as I like to call them. But now you can see he's really accustomed to walking on them. That gives me optimism that in just one week, he's managing to walk around in his little splints. Slowly getting up to speed by simply learning how to tap. But he kind of tap dancing like Fred Astaire right now. Ian Arden, John Lee, News 13. <laughs> Wonderful. The Asheville Humane Society says it will likely take three to four months before Roscoe is fully healed and ready for adoption.